Oh, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing okay now that I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad that you can hear me. Oh my goodness. It's so nice to have you on the show. So we are going to talk about the erasable pen and the friction for good challenge. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. So I'm interested to learn more about this. But first off, Phil, what does STEM stand for and why is it becoming increasingly important for students out there this year? So STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. And the reason why it's increasingly important to engage kids, especially from an early age, in STEM-related activities and experiences is because these types of experiences develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills. And it's also going to be related to their fields of study that they're likely to pursue later on and the jobs that they'll eventually take after they've pursued high school and college. Now, Phil, what makes friction pens ideal tools for STEM learning? Because I was on the YouTube search looking at the friction pens and I was like, these pens look pretty cool. Yeah, they're super cool. I call them super nerdy. They're like super nerdy <laughs> pens. Super nerdy. <laughs> Can't you erase with them? <laughs> what makes them so great is, is the ink. The ink yes. is, I mean, it's a great pen, a great normal pen to use, but most pens aren't erasable. Friction yes. pens have a heat based erasable ink, what we call a thermosensitive erasable ink. That makes them really useful for everybody, but for a chemistry teacher, it makes them super useful because we can do all kinds of experiments where we show students how, where the heat is moving by the way that the ink changes color and disappears. So it's not just a singular tool for taking notes in a class or writing a, a report. It now becomes a tool that we can use as part of the experiment itself. You know, Phil, how long have the friction pens been around? Because I have no idea, but I am even afraid to say it to our audience because they're going to be like, Noah, have you been living in a hole? But this is my first time hearing about an erasable pen. Yeah, I don't know how long Pilot has been making friction pens, but I know they're here now and that's all that matters. <laughs> I know <laughs> they keep coming out with more and more colors and they Ooh. even have highlighters now. Can you imagine having like a highlighter that was erasable? Honestly, the great thing about all of that is, I mean, aside from a little pen nerdery, is yeah. how you can actually engage kids in learning using a right. simple $1 pen, right? So we've developed yeah. some lessons through with the curriculum design experts at stem.org, and they're mm -hmm. available on frictionstem.com, where parents and teachers can download these lesson plans and find ways to actually teach science and STEM concepts using this pen and they're age appropriate. They're delineated all the way from grades K through 12, freely accessible. Again, Pilot's goal is to make STEM access to education easy and affordable. Now, Phil, what makes STEM.org authenticated products differently and why is this distinction important for our audience watching? So the accreditation is important. Primarily, I'll just say this. They're the only, Pilot Friction Pens are the only STEM accredited pen out there. There are no other pens that have been authenticated by stem.org. What that really speaks to is the degree of science involved in the ink. Again, it's more than just a pen. Yeah, it's a great writing pen, but it's also something that you can do so much science with. You can instill so much curiosity around. It makes it, that, that's what earns that designation and makes it special. Now, Phil, what is the Friction for Good Challenge? Because I love a good challenge. I'm always up for a good challenge. So tell me more about that this morning and how can people really get involved and participate? So the Friction for Good Challenge is, again, organized around keeping STEM accessible to everyone. And there's two main ways that you can participate. The first is by buying packs of color sticks. So the color sticks, the Pilot Friction color sticks look like this, and they come in 16 different colors or so. Mm -hmm. Buy the 10 pack at Walmart or at Target, and Pilot will donate 25% of their profits from that sale to Girls Who Code, up to $50,000. That's great. If you go on Amazon, look for the 16 pack. Uh, the other way that you can participate is by actually being creative and doing some science using friction pens on your own. So make your videos using showing how you do experiments with Pilot Friction Pens. Post it on your in-feed on Instagram or on TikTok and add the hashtag friction for good. That's F-R-I-X-I-O-N for good. And for every post that has that friction for good hashtag, Pilot is going to donate $5 to Girls Who Code, up to $60,000. Oh, that is incredible. Oh my goodness, hashtag friction for good. That's right, Phil. Oh my goodness, by the way, you are a chemistry teacher. So when does school start back for you, my friend? I've got two weeks. 
two, two weeks. weeks. So I've, I'm getting my stockpile of friction pens ready because I love to give them out <laughs> to my students and have them use them in class. And the kids, they love them. When they, I don't think they've ever seen like so many different colors that actually erase very, very well and, and work wonderfully as pens. Oh yes, absolutely. And by the way, as school starts back for you in two weeks, what are you looking forward to the most? What do you hope this school year brings to you? I always look forward to just meeting the new students and hearing their stories, getting to know them over the year. For me, that interpersonal relationship is really important. So that's what I look forward to the most. Now, Phil, tell us how you became at Kim Teacher Phil because you are so widely known on TikTok. I need to get more involved in TikTok. I always tell my guests this when I talk about TikTok because I can never really do TikTok videos because it always takes me so long to actually create one. But what are you trying to achieve through social media with TikTok and Instagram and all the videos and images that you post on your social media? My main goal on, on Instagram, on TikTok, it really doesn't matter what platform, has always been to educate people. I want them to have a takeaway, something that they didn't know before that they know now, and also do it in a way that makes them curious about the world around them. One of my mantras is never stop learning and be curious. So I love to kind of create videos that are kind of bookended by both of those prompts. And getting into social media was not anything I had ever anticipated happening to me. It just kind of happened out of the result of a student saying, hey, you should make a video of this and put it on TikTok. And then me giving that student my phone, creating the content, posting it, and then letting the algorithm honestly take it from there. Yeah. And a lot, of, a lot of good science has come about from it, so I'm very thankful for that. Tell our audience, lastly, where can they go for more information about all the great things that we have discussed this morning? So if you want to learn more about either the Friction for Good Challenge, as well as the activities that I alluded to, they're both in one spot, frictionstem.com. So F-R-I-X-I-O-N, stem.com. You can download the lesson plans. There's also some videos that I've made for Pilot on there. And you can learn all of the information behind the Friction for Good Challenge. Chemistry teacher and TikTok star Phil Cook, thank you so much for a great conversation this morning. You take care. Have a great back to school with your young kids out there. All right, take it easy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.